What's up, JD Aliens? I am super pumped about this Google Stadia. It came out last week and I hit that red button, man. I was like, boom. Let's do it. I hit the button because I wanted to be, uh, what is it? It's a founder. So I got the Founders Edition Google Stadia. It hasn't arrived yet. It actually doesn't launch till November for the people who got the uh, the pro version or the founders. And then sometime in 2020 is when the, the, the regular folks get to play because I guess they want to just give it to the early adopters first. But anyways, I'm super pumped. And it's not because I'm a hardcore gamer because I'm not. Dude, I am pumped because I feel like Stadia is made for everybody, but it I think they had us in mind. And when I say us, I mean like, you know, the guy or girl who, you know, really isn't a hardcore gamer, but really wants to, you know, engage in some games, but doesn't want to fork out the money for a console or a high-end, super powerful computer, because that's me. And so when I saw Stadia, I was like, man, they speak in my language, man. They speaking to me. All I got to do is purchase this this membership if i want it there is a free version but as for the regular folks the pro version does come with more perks we'll talk about that in a second but all you gotta do is purchase the package which is a google chromecast ultra and uh the stadia controller so the founders edition controller is like this uh, midnight blue and orange it's kind of fly looking uh, but the rest of them will be like white and black and stuff like that. Anyways, I've digressed on the controller part, but that's it. And it's $130 at uh, right now. So for $130, you got access to play all these games they're going to be launching with it, which is a pretty nice library as far as what I've seen. Uh, and that's huge for a guy like me, because like I said, I don't want to spend three to four, even $500 on a console, you know, via Xbox or PlayStation. And I, I have a laptop, man. I got this HP laptop. I mean, it does what it does. It does what I need it to do, but it's not a gaming laptop. And I ain't trying to upgrade to no, you know, $2,000 uh, PC so I can game like once a week. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I don't game all the time. <laughs> I mean, the most gaming I do is on my phone a couple of times a week and that's it. So I just didn't want to invest that kind of money, but Stadia allows me to do that. Oh, hey, excuse me. I don't mean to bother you right now since you're watching the video, but if you could do me a favor, can you reach down there yeah, the subscribe button. Can you just tap that real gently? And you see how it changed the color and it got that little bell? Can you, can, yeah, can you hit that bell? Man, that is awesome. I appreciate you. We now return to your regular programming. What makes all this more awesome and possible for me is that you don't have to download anything. As soon as you're ready to play, you find the game you want to play in the library and you start playing. That is so fly. It's pretty much like you already got the game. Uh, so that's number one, no downloads. As far as the resolution quality, you got HDR, uh, 720p, 1080p, and 4K all at 60 hertz. And it's supposed to work well. I'm gonna assume it works like it's supposed to work, uh, just based off of what they're saying. And that's phenomenal. But the caveat is, uh, your bandwidth. So not everybody's gonna have access to the 4K, especially if you don't get the, uh, the, the $9.99 a month package. But even if you do, uh, your internet might not be capable of the 4K, but you will be able to get the 1080p and the, uh, the 720. So that's cool. I'm not really a 4K guy. That really doesn't matter to me. So 1020 or 1080p will do just fine for me. Although I do have enough uh, bandwidth to do uh, 4K. So with the 999 Pro version, you got a lot of perks. Uh, let's go through some of these perks, man. Let me look at my tablet real quick. Okay, so it says here for $9.99 a month, you get up to 4K access at 60 uh, frames per second. 5.1 surround sound you can buy games whenever you want yes you still have to buy the games uh so you don't get like free games with it i guess maybe you'll get some early access i don't know but uh additional free games released regularly um starting with destiny 2 the collection sweet uh stadia pro exclusive discounts on select game purchases okay so you do get some discounts here on the games but with the free version all you can get is up to the 1080p at 60 frames per second uh, you get stereo sound and you can buy games whenever you want. No, you don't get additional games released regularly and uh, Stadia Pro exclusive discounts on select games. It says no, so you do not get that. <laughs> okay, so is it worth the $9.99? I don't know, we'll see. But because I'm a founder, and you can be too, I ain't trying to sell this stuff, I'm just saying, it's it's kind of an awesome deal. But if you get the Founders Edition, you get three free months of the Pro, and you get a buddy pass for three months. Now, this is what Google doesn't tell you. Let me go into some of this fine print right here, because I'm a fine print reader. 
So Google really doesn't make this, like, it doesn't put this all out there for you. I was looking at the fine print, man, and it says, where does it say that? Uh, let me see. Okay, there it is right there. It says, Buddy Pass will be sent within six months of delivery of your founder's edition. Buddy Pass must be redeemed within three months of receipt. So you're telling me in November, I'm going to have my uh, Stadia Pro version, right? And I, like, if I wanted to give you a Buddy Pass, that's cool. I can give it to you. Uh, but I'm expecting to like play with you right then and there, like online. Uh, it could take up to six months for you to get your buddy pass. So what that means is I'm sitting here using up my three months of Stadia Pro. <laughs> and then maybe four months later, you get your buddy pass in, uh, activated or you get your, your code delivered or whatever they're going to give you. And so we're not both getting it free at the same time. So that's a possibility. It says up to six months. So, so think about that. Uh, it says up to six months. So they, they tell you that in the fine print, but they don't really make that known. That's something you should probably know. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, I don't see anything else too alarming in here, but I mean, yeah, that's, <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that buddy pass. Maybe I give y'all one or give my homeboy one and uh, you could use the buddy pass. Anyways, it could take up to six months, just so you know. Um, as far as the 4K and the 1080p and the 720, that's great, especially the 4K. But one thing I don't think many people are talking about is how much bandwidth uh, streaming at 4K and at 1080p is going to use. So if you got like a data cap on your uh, on your Wi-Fi on your internet, then you're going to chew that up pretty quick. I mean, our house is internet based as a smart home. I use a lot of freaking Wi-Fi. <laughs> I use a lot of gigabytes up in this mug. I'm uploading videos. I'm downloading stuff and you know, we do nothing. We don't have cable. We do nothing but Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime video. So I need to look at my numbers to see how this is going to go, man. I might have to limit my gaming to maybe a couple of hours a week or something like that. Because if you just sit on this thing all day and you've got a, a data cap uh, on your household internet, then you're going to chew that up really fast. If you, especially if you're messing with that 4k, man, we're talking about like, I don't know, maybe four to six hours of gaming using up your whole data cap, you know, for the month. So be careful with that. That's something else that nobody really talks about. So that's something I got to keep an eye on. So now that most of that bad stuff is out of the way, because everything comes with a caveat, right? They're releasing some pretty fly games with this thing, man. I saw Destiny 2, Doom Eternal, Assassin's Creed, Mortal Kombat 11, and Borderlands. And of course, there's going to be some more uh, so that I saw a bunch of previews and stuff. But man, overall, I am hyped about this. November can't come soon enough, man. My life is just done in November. I'm, I'm going to lock myself up in this room, jump on this computer and, and just go at it, man. But that's the cool thing about Stadia. Yeah, you can do it on your computer. Uh, even if you don't have a powerful one, uh, you don't need a console, no downloading, no waiting and stuff like that. All you got to do is have some reliable internet. You're good to go. Uh, if you're a Pixel owner, you can use this on your dang Pixel tablet and Pixel 3. Uh, probably the Pixel 2, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it, it, this is awesome. I, I cannot say how, I cannot say enough how excited I am about Stadia, if you haven't looked into it, if this is your first time hearing about it, look into it, especially if you've always kind of wanted to dabble in the games a little bit, but didn't want to go blow all that money on a console and the games. This is your way in right now without having to make a huge investment into that world. Anyways, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just pumped about Stadia, man. Can you blame me? This is awesome. Anyways, I got to get out of here, man. But look, I got two other channels. Uh, I got an audio channel where I do nothing but headphone reviews and speakers and stuff like that. And then I have a vlog channel where I just rant about stuff and I do my regular vlogs. Make sure you click on those links in the description and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all my shenanigans. But until then, if you had a good time watching this video, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 no. Sit back down. We got to talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right, then hit the subscribe button. There you go. Reach down there. There you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You got to come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right. I knew you would. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Uh, 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 uh,